Welcome back. Well, the Defense Department is facing a federal lawsuit after it blocked Bible passages from being printed on dog tags with military trademarks. Faith-based group Shields of Strength was served a cease and desist order for printing tags like the ones you see on your screen right now because the Department of Defense claims it violates department policies. The company's owner, Kenny Vaughn, joins us now alongside Mike Berry from the First Liberty Institute. Thank you both for being here. Uh, Kenny, before I go to you, I, I want to get the legal side of this right. So, Mike, the, the Shields of Strength was able to do this for 20 years. The Department of Defense knew about it. They were fine with it. Why did that change? Well, thanks, Pete. Yeah. Why did it change? Because of one complaint. You know, huh. you, if China fires a, a hypersonic weapon around the globe or North Korea threatens a nuclear weapon, uh, that's not what causes our Department of Defense to, to worry. It's when somebody says, hey, there's a Bible verse on a dog tag. That's what causes our Pentagon to shake in their boots and raise the white flag of surrender. It's absolutely ridiculous. Unbelievable. Kenny, just overall, I mean, your reaction to the fact that you've been doing this, um, you know, service members appreciate it, and rightfully so. And now the Defense Department saying stop. Yeah, I'm just going to tell you exactly what happened. So uh, 15 years of my life, I battled fear in a big way. I was an athlete. My girlfriend, now wife of 25 years, wrote scriptures on my equipment. One piece of God's word set me free from that. And I wanted a daily reminder. So I started putting them on dog tags, jewelry, anything I could. Mm -hmm. I wore them. And now we're in Afghanistan, we're in Iraq, and our soldiers are battling fear, and I know it, and we're wishing we could do something. The phone rings one day, and somebody says, hey, Kenny, it's the Army's on the phone. I'm like, man, what did I do? <laughs> Get on there, and, it, and it's, a, it's a, a chaplain calling me from the battlefield, and he says, hey, you know, uh, some of our guys got these doll tags, and they got Joshua 1-9 on them, and we're wanting to know if we could get some more. I got $500. How many can I get? And so I'm just like, are you kidding me? How, how, many, how many soldiers are with you? 10,000 in my division. I said, sorry, you can get 10,000, you can keep your $500. And so that's how it got started. Literally mm. every one we made, we made because they called us and asked us to do it. Two million of them, we donated the vast majority of them because they didn't have funding or couldn't get funding. Never a single complaint. And then one complaint and the Pentagon jumps to attention. And it's fear. I'm going to tell you what's rooted in. It's rooted in fear. Fear is always doing what's best for itself without regard for others. And love does what's best for others without regard for itself. Mm. And it just blow. It's the most selfish thing I've ever seen in my life. And a lot of those dog tags we made, those guys still have them, guys and gals. Unfortunately, a lot of them are hanging around the necks of Gold Star family members mm. to remind them of the courage their, only fa their own family members had in battle. Why, why would anyone ever be so selfish? I don't understand it. Well, Kenny, powerfully said, um, I guess my question back to you is why? Why do you think the, why do you think the DOD is doing this? Now, is it really one fear. complaint? No, no, it's fear. That's why, that's why they're doing it. It's fear. So listen to me. Fear, fear of, 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 fear, of complaint? Fear, fear of bad press. Fear of what yeah. it's going to cost me. Look, the Medal of Honor is given for people who do this with no regard for their own life. They do what's best for someone else. If you gave the Medal of Honor today, it would be for someone who would who does what is best for themselves without regard for the people around them. So fear is a feeling. But when we follow it, we're selfish. We love ourselves. Love dies to itself. And it does what's best for you. Without regard. It's the best thing you can do for yourself, but it's not for I'm, Listen, I wrote a book on it. I'm it. telling you, literally. It's what's called The, the Right book? Fight, How to Live a Loving Life. And if fear rules your life, then you're going to live a selfish life. So your commanders, really? your leaders, unfortunately, are doing what's best for themselves without regard for others. And we made well more said. for Secretary of Defense than anyone. Uh, Mike, real quick, last word. Where does this go legally? They, they feared a lawsuit. That's why they said that they capitulated this complaint in right. First Liberty Institute. Well, we took them up on that. We filed a lawsuit. Go to firstliberty.org. You can see a copy of the lawsuit. And you can also find out how you can support Kenny. He's a patriotic American. He loves our troops. He loves our country. We need to get behind him and put a stop to this nonsense. So go to firstliberty.org and follow our lawsuit. We're going to win this. 
As always, First Liberty on the front lines uh, for the folks that need the help. And Kenny Vaughn, what a, what a powerful story. Thank you for everything you do and the reason why you do it. Uh, it it's such a it's great example honor. of our country. God bless you, Kenny. Thank you very much. God bless Appreciate you. It. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.